Hey everybody, I'm just sitting up here talking. I think I was talking for at least five minutes and realized I didn't even press play on this thing. So let me start over, rewind. Hey everybody, I hope your day is going well. I wanted to come in um, right quick just to check on you all, see how you're doing. And to talk to you all about a, a thought that came to my mind while I was asleep two days ago. And it's been on my mind for several, well, since two days ago. So I just wanted to share with you all, which, which speaks for itself. Um, right before I woke up from my sleep, I heard a voice as clear as day say, what does it say? You only become someone's anchor once they see you as their lifeboat. Then the voice said again, you only become someone's anchor once they see you as their lifeboat. So I'm sitting there like, you know, once I woke up, I'm like, oh, let me write this down. So I put it in my notes and stuff. Then I said, you know, Lord, what does that mean? And what I heard was, let me see. I think it says something like, I can't remember. I don't have my notes. What is on my phone? I don't have it in front of me right now, but it says something like, step back and let Jesus be the anchor. Let him be in control. And I say, you know what? And I'm sure a lot of you are the same way. Where people come to you, they ask you for help. Or you see someone in need and you feel the need to help because the Lord has given you the gift of, of helping people the gift of giving and and just you know being there to just lend an ear or whatever it may be sometimes we have to be mindful about that because we may take it upon ourselves to do those things but the lord didn't tell us to do it so i'm sitting up here and i'm like someone only becomes you only become someone's anchor once they see you as their lifeboat and then it clicked it says, you know, sometimes we can have, we can help someone. And then when that person see that, oh, you know, we've helped them, they can continue to come back again and again and again. And they're always receiving and never giving. I'm sure some of you know some people that's always receiving and never giving it. And it gets to a point where they feel like you have to help them. And then if you don't help them, they're upset at you. They're mad at you because you this time you didn't help. And that goes back to that saying no. You know, you said yes all this time and now you're saying no. And it's like, what in the world? It's like being on, being on a boat. You know, sometimes things may happen to a boat. God forbid it doesn't happen to anyone. But sometimes the things may happen and they have that lifeboat on there to where, you know, People can get on that. If something happens to the big boat, people can get on that lifeboat. Or vice versa. You have your boats that go out into the water. And in order for and when you bring it back, in order for it to stay in place, you have to throw out the anchor. For those of you that know more about boats and everything, hey, feel free to pitch in and um and correct me if I'm wrong. But then I thought about it. I said, you know what? A person's life, a person may be going through something in their life. And they feel like, you know what? I'm all over the place. I need an anchor. I need somewhere to set a foundation on so that I can build from there. And sometimes people look to other people as being that anchor or being that foundation that they started building on. Not realizing that they're tearing that person down. They're wearing that person out physically, emotionally, and no and whatever else may be going on mentally. And that's when we have to start, you know, it's nothing wrong with helping people. But you have to know your limits. And sometimes you have to go to the Lord and say, okay, you know what, Lord, is this what you want me to do? Because the Lord may have them going through some things or may have told them to do certain things in order to get to where he want them to be. But like being a, being a person, being human, we want to take the easy way out. So we use other people. 
So we have to also be mindful about that and ask the Lord for a discerning spirit. You know, what, what type of spirit is this coming around me? You know, a lot of you, I'm sure, have been the anchors for people, have allowed people to set their foundation on you, have, have built up their lifestyle or build up their funds, build up their emotions, you know, gotten out of what they're doing. But because you haven't went before the Lord, now you're worn out. Now you're going through something. Those spirits have come off of that person and now going on to you. You have to be real mindful, people. And I speak, I say that because, uh, hey, it's for me too. The dream was for me too. You know, I, I, I love helping people. I love being there to give people advice and, and encourage them, all of that. But I'm learning also that we have to be mindful because these spirits are real. And they're out to the enemy is out the devil is out to steal kill and destroy and if he didn't like our lord and savior what makes you think he like us so we have to continue to have on our armor you all daily from the moment you get up to the moment you lay your head and while you're asleep 24 hours non-stop uh, um but if you are somebody's anchor I would tell you to just step back. Sometimes you got to let that anchor stay in the boat. Okay, we better ride this out together. We better go ahead and we're going to pray. Hey, we can pray together. But you got to seek the Lord and see what he wants you to do. Sometimes a person will get mad. But hey, that anchor ain't going no way. Sometimes they can't lift that anchor up and throw it over to stop them. Sometimes they got to go through gotta go through y'all you be there to help them out pray for them lift them up whatever you gotta do encourage them whatever sometimes they gotta go through it on their own most of the time they got to go through them but as long as you continue to be that anchor continue to be the lifeboat and the anchor then a the person is only going to get so far they can't reach the level they need to get to because you're in the way. Step out of the way and let Jesus take control. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. And I'll be talking to y'all soon. Love you.